Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Transportation and Infrastructure. Good morning, Minister. Because there was no ministry oversight, hundreds of deficient girders were installed along the Herb Gray Parkway. It happened because there was no clause in the P3 construction contract that called for independent testing and inspection reports to be sent to the ministry. Today, the highly respected Canadian Council of Independent Labo Laboratories claims dozens of other road and bridge contracts also lack this independent testing clause. Will the minister investigate and report to this House on all MTO and Infrastructure Ontario construction contracts that do not require independent safety testing and inspection reports? Thank you, Minister of Transportation and Infrastructure. Thank, thank you very much, and good morning to you, uh, my friend from windsor um, the, uh, we We actually have gone through in the last several months, we have inspected every girder production facility. All MTO projects are tested. Uh, as you obviously know from the Windsor experience and others, we do do destructive testing when necessary. I have met with this very respected body. We've had a number of conversations. Uh, I have asked them uh, to deliver their criticisms in a paper. The uh, ADM, uh, Jerry Chaput, uh, has reviewed this. Uh, and I think that's, well, I appreciate their concern. I don't think that's a fair representation of the facts. There is uh, systemic. There will be tougher uh, rules and regulations as a result of what happened in Windsor-Essex, but I also want to point out uh, is all of those girders were tested Answer. twice and are being removed and paid for by the private company uh, at full cost recovery. Thank you. Supplementary. Speaker, let's admit it. The P3 experiment with the short warranty periods has failed. Let's get back to the old proven method of requiring independent testing and inspection with the results given not to the contractor minister, but to the people paying the bills. Face it, public safety may be endangered here. Taxpayers may be faced with the cost of repairing or replacing this infrastructure years earlier than expected. Will the minister end this failed warranty experiment and direct MTO and Infrastructure Ontario to ensure all infrastructure projects require independent safety testing. You, um, Mr. Speaker, while I, I respect my friends in the third party, there's a very good reason I'm not a member of that party, and it's because of the ideological bent. Um, and, uh, and this is a classic example of it, Mr. Uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, we have had we have had over 80 AFP projects, Mr. Speaker. Over 80. All of them have been under budget. All of them have delivered billions of dollars of savings. And when there's been errors, the private sector has had to pay for it. In spite of the evidence, the ideological bent of the NDP won't allow them to be pragmatic enough to realize this has been a huge success. So. The party of pragmatism over here always enjoys the blinkers of the right and our left, and this is another one of those old ways we always used to do it. Lack of innovation, which is why they're the third party, Mr. Speaker. Thank, Thank you. you.